and boom done we have perfect churros every single time oh yeah i'm so excited for you guys to try this recipe hello and welcome back to views on the road i'm your host steph and today i'm going to show you how to make churros some of you might like it a little bit lighter some of you want it fully loaded not to worry i'm going to share all those tips in this recipe for this delicious recipe you'll need two and one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour one fourth of a cup of milk one cup of sugar three large eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of vanilla, one stick of butter, one tablespoon of cinnamon, three fourths of a cup of water, and oil for frying. Place your burner on a medium heat and add three fourths of a cup of water, one fourth of a cup of milk, one stick of salted butter, one tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of Mexican vanilla blend. Once your ingredients reach a boil, you wanna set that on a low temperature and keep on mixing until your butter has melted. Once your butter melts and you've combined all your ingredients and you see that bubbling, go ahead and turn your burner off. And now it's time to get the process started. To your bowl, you wanna add your liquid blend. Add two and one fourths of a cup of flour. Now it's time to combine our ingredients so that should take you anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute. Make sure to scrape your bowl a few times within that minute so that you can combine all your ingredients well. Crack your eggs into a separate bowl and you wanna add one egg at a time. Once that yolk drops, that means you have one egg. And after three to four minutes of mixing, you're gonna have the perfect texture to make some delicious churros. You wanna transfer your batter into a piping bag or you can use a Ziploc. Whatever you have on hand is gonna work for this. For those of you eating light currently, you're gonna love this star blue churro maker. I'm not sponsored, but I wish I was because the boys and I love it. It works beautifully. All you have to do is spray a little bit of your nonstick oil and you wanna go very, very light. You don't want the oil to just fill the bottom. You just want a little spritz. I'm using a small piping bag. These are the ones that you get at Target. It's not too professional. And I'm using it without a star at the end because this should be shaping it up exactly how you need it. Now we're gonna seal and wait a good minute and a half to two so that our churros are nice and ready. Once your green light is lit, that means that your churros are ready. Sometimes if you go a little bit over like I did, you're gonna get a little bit of the extra crust that you can just smooth out right here like that. And to three fourths of a cup of sugar, you're gonna add one tablespoon of cinnamon. You're gonna dip your churro in your sugar and mix it quickly. When you're using the churro maker, you want to make sure to place your churros into the sugar. It's a little bit different than when you fry them. And that's the healthier method of making your churros for your family and for you to enjoy as well. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite way to make this. Uh, that makes it perfect every single time and you also get that crispiness that we love from a churro. And same thing with this one. Go ahead and line up your churro in your churro maker. Close it. And you only want to keep your churro in your churro maker for 45 seconds to a minute. And in the meantime, I'm warming up my oil so that we can have a nice crispy churro. With an uncoated spoon, uncoated chopstick or toothpicks, you're gonna place it into your oil. Once you see those bubbles like that, that means that you're ready to fry. When it looks like this, it's time to go to the fryer. And it happens quickly, so hang tight. If you notice that your oil is too hot, maybe start off with one, because you don't wanna cook it too fast and you definitely don't wanna burn it. You're gonna cook for 30 seconds on each side and you're gonna try and flip it. And try, you never know if it wants to play that log in the water kind of game where you're trying to stay afloat. So try, do your best. And after a minute, minute and a half, your churros are nice and golden, crispy. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna set them over on the rack. 
I'm going to quickly dust them with some cinnamon and sugar. And boom, done. We have perfect churros every single time. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to try this recipe. And I want to open this up so that you guys can see that it's fully cooked, nice and crispy and soft on the inside. Yummy, yummy. Thank you. I'm just going to dip it into some Mexican hot chocolate. I showed you guys how to make this last week. And your recipe will be in the description area. Ooh, perfect for my evenings. Mmm, absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as our family and let us know if you try it and how it turned out for you. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to wish everybody a happy Indigenous Day and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!